Hello, it's voiceover Maddie because regular Maddie, regular Maddie, present Maddie, past Maddie now, totally forgot to talk while she was doing things. So it's on me now to explain what the heck is going on. Um, but yes, yeah, so right now I'm unboxing a bookbinders order slash pre-order. I swear planner season is getting earlier and earlier. Like we're only in October, guys. Why am I already set up for 2025? I literally have all of my journals ready to go for next year and my planners. It's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, I did the Traveler's Company, um, the Passport <coughs> Monthly, the 2025 Pencil Board, and the 2025 Sticker Sheet. Sticker Sheet? Sticker Sheet. We just went full Aussie there for a second. Um, I also got the, I got a couple of you Haku washi tapes. They've been out of stock for a while. And when I saw these two particularly that were back in stock, I was immediately excited and I immediately jumped on them. I, they're super pretty. And also I got the Midori, look at it, it's gorgeous. The Midori One Day One Page. This is sort of... This is a risk. It's a risky journal. I have been eyeing this thing for about two or three years. Every time I see someone use it, I just get blown away. It's so beautiful. I love the layout. I love how it's sort of undated whilst being dated. It's just very cool. I just love this thing. In the past, I could never justify getting it because of my journaling style and just... The price point was a little bit garish as well, like 50 bucks is pretty intense, however 50 bucks for an entire year, pretty good. So I can't really complain, um, but yeah, so I managed to convince myself that I could use it this year. I'm going to be using it for a photo diary, I guess you could call it a photo journal. I'm going to try and take a photo a day, it's something that I've noticed about myself is that I don't take a lot of photos anymore and I really want to correct that, especially I've got two kids. And, you know, they're growing, you know, one's three in a week, which is insane. So I want to be able to take more photos and have a bit more of a visual memory. I'm getting better at, at putting photos in my journals. I never used to do that, like, ever. Uh, but it is something that I'm slowly getting back into the habit of. So I wanted to give that a go. And that way it won't get super chunky, you know, with a bunch of ephemera and stuff, because I probably won't put a lot of ephemera in there. It'll be a couple of stickers here and there with a little bit of writing, like a caption of the photo, and then that'll be it. So I'm hoping that'll all that'll spark that joy. And again, it was it basically this is me scrambling to find an excuse to buy it this year. And I did it and I found it and it was wonderful. I'm very, very excited about it. Now, let's talk about the passport. Because this is what the video is about. I am setting up my monthly passport for next year. I decided to set it up now in October because again, as I have stated previously, I have all of my 2025 journals already. I have my 2025 planner. I have all my journals sitting there ready to go. I've got, what else have I got? I've just got, a, I've got all of them, right? And something's got to give. I got to be able to do something with them soon or they're just gonna sit there looking too pretty and I'm gonna get upset so <laughs> I decided to set this one up now just so I've done something with the new things that I've spent too much money on now it is not lost on me that I now have four different planners with four different monthlies so I'm gonna run through that really quickly with you I will touch on this again and use visual aids like the planner itself in my Tetro Kaigi which will be at the end of the year or closer to the end of the year but I will just quickly go through what I'm using each each of the different planner monthlies for so we'll talk about the Hobonichis because that was the first one that I ordered <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it in chronological order. Chronological order. But this is my brain. This is how I work. So the Hobonichi Evac will be very much utilitarian. Like it will be appointments, events that I can't forget. That's it. Um, maybe period tracking because I don't think they've got a cute little tracker like the tan does. I'll track that sort of stuff. I personally hate the Hobonichi monthly. I think it's one of the ugliest monthlies out there. I don't, I don't, I just don't jive with it. Like, it's just not for me. So I don't want to be in them, right? Which is why I'm going to keep it very simple and very plain. So that'll be used for the Hobonichi Evac. The Hobonichi Weeks, 
Craven Each Two Weeks is my media log and my media journal. So it will be... So Chris over at l &M on their Patreon did... I think they talked about they're going to go to the sticker system, which is basically commonplacing in a very minimal way of you assign a type of media to a coloured sticker and you put that sticker on the date that you consume that kind of media. So for me, my... TV is a green, my podcasts are a grey, etc, etc, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but that will be what that is. Um, so that's what I'll be doing for mine. I really like that idea of being able to just open your monthly and seeing a, a quick overview of what you consumed. I think that's very cool and an, and an easy way to use that up because I didn't really have any other ideas for how to use a monthly in a media log style planner or journal. I didn't really want to print out stickers every day or, you know, print out photos every day for like, um, what do they call that? For like fan art or things like that. I struggle enough as it is. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think for me, the sticker system is a really cool idea. And again, like it's, it's a cool overview and a cool tracker as well without too much effort. I, I make my own commonplace stickers so I can easily print more if I run out. I don't have to go out of my way to buy more. Not that that's really relevant. It's kind of relevant. Anyway, it's a nice, simple, easy thing to use up that section without too much hassle. Because again, I don't like the Hobonichi monthlies. I just find them too ugly. So that's a that's a good easy out for me. The Midori monthly is basically going to be an index. So I want to use it as a, a photo diary, correct? So, correct, why did I say correct? It's my diary, it is correct. That's what I'm using it for. So. <laughs> using it as a photo a day diary so the monthly will be an index because that's how the dates correspond on that day there will be a picture of I don't know a new toy that I got or a new bug that I got I will write that down a very simple explanation of what that would be which again is a cool way to have a big overview of what is in the planner itself there will be a little bit of overlap between Probably the the Hobonichi Avec, the Travelers Company Monthly, and the Midori Daily because that's life. You know, if a big event happens, it takes over your entire life, right, for that day. It's the exciting thing that happened that day. So there will be a little bit of overlap that doesn't really bother me all that much because in, the, in my brain, they are all very different journals and very different planners. So I can work with it. I can make it work. But yes, the Midori, the Midori, the Travelers Company will just, will just be a basic monthly memory keeper. So every day I'll write the big memory of that day, essentially, you know, if, if my kid says something funny that we quote all day, which we've done in the past, or again, a birthday came up, or I got an exceptionally cool bug kind of thing the big the big thing of that day will be written in there and that does mean some days will be left blank because you know I have a very basic content it's not even basic it's just a very content little life I have routines dictate a lot of what I do especially because I have children so not every day is going to be a big adventure or, or a big whoop de doo so some days will be left blank which is also fine because the Midori will take up the slack of that. So with the Midori, it's me just wanting to take a photo every day. And obviously there's a photo to be taken every day, regardless of what you're doing. The sky could look amazing. My kid could be playing in the mud and look like an absolute mess, but that's a cute photo. So I will take that photo. So the Midori will pick up the slack that the monthly leaves basically it's kind of how they, they'll they'll join together to be a really cool memory keeper but yeah that's basically what I'm going to be using all the monthlies for and I'm really excited about it I really like the monthly the monthly memory keeping keeping <laughs> sorry when my brain works too fast my words sort of go crazy anyway I really like monthly keeping. I like the monthly memory keeping. It's very cool to me. And I've been doing it for a while. It's one of the one one of the only things that I've sort of kept up when the weekly planner or the daily planner 
fails, I will still always use a monthly. I think it's the easiest, simplest thing to do. And yeah, that's, that's basically my little spiel on that. I decided to go with the Traveler's Company monthly because I honestly, I miss working in my passports more. I have three passports, which is the, the most, the most size, the size I have the most. I have a, I have the brown, which is my, my music journal. I have the olive, which is my everyday carry. I just carry that around with me for on the go ideas and thoughts and doodles and things like that. Just a very much a thing that never leaves my backpack. And then I have the, the, uh, the records edition, the limited edition that came out a few years ago that I absolutely adore. It's one of my favorites and I haven't really used it this year because I haven't really felt the need to because the take a note planner is my favorite. The take a note monthly is my favorite monthly layout. It is very similar. The Midori is very similar in the way the layout is just very minimal. It, it's the middle of the page rather than the top right down, which is again, the Hope and is so dumb. I don't like it. Um, anyway. So I love the take a note. So I've been using that as my memory keeper for this year. And I just, over time, I just stopped using the path, the record so much because I really didn't have any, anything to put it in. So I think I, I did that out of loyalty to it, getting the, getting the Travelers Company monthly so I could use it again. I'm very excited to be using it again. It'll be, it's nice that it has its own little, its little job now. So I am one of those weird sentimental people that if I don't, if I've bought a cover, especially traveler's notebooks, they're, you know, it's one of the main things that got me into journaling and all that sort of stuff. And this next year I've moved away from traveler's company a lot, even this past year, as the year has gone on, I've moved away from traveler's company. Like half my journals aren't traveler's company and they used to be solely traveler's company. It was very rare that I was working in anything outside of a traveler's notebook. So Yes, yeah, so I've got this weird sort of loyalty to it and I want to be able to still say that I use it quite a bit and things like that. So that is just me being a dork. But yeah, I'm quite happy that it has a it has a um, purpose again. Because I do, again, I do get a very, I get very loyal to them. And if I have covers that aren't being used, I feel sad. Because I'm like, I'm sorry I bought you and now I have no use for you. But it is what it is. We adapt, we change life, you know we we need other things and sometimes the systems that you love don't work and that's completely and totally fine who cares you just gotta do what you gotta do to make things work for you and this year and probably next year the travelers company isn't going to be that for the majority of it especially not for planning i really struggled with planning in a travelers company so yeah this is it's gonna be good i'm excited for next year i'm excited for the new there's a lot of new things next year but also there's a lot of things that'll stay the same like most years so it'll be a fun balance of new and consistent i should say anyway i think that's really it for the talking portion you can now just sit back and relax and watch whatever it is i'm doing i did cover the ugly orange of the monthly because i just it is so bright and offensive to my face. So I had to cover it in something neutral. And the only paper that could cover the ridiculous orange easily was a bunch of old sheet music. So that's what I went with. Anyway, this is, this is me. This is Voice Over Maddie signing off. I will leave you now to just watch me fiddling and settling this up. S setting this up. Alright, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye!